Good evening, everybody. Um, it's one something in the morning. Can't sleep, and I'm rereading the book. Um, Wild the Heart. Anyways, it uh, it quotes a Bible verse in here that I've heard quoted a few times. Um, but what I, I I always remembered there was there it always struck me as like I know I've read more. I know there's more to that. And uh, so I looked it up tonight. And so I, I read it and I kind of thought about it and um, I th I th whatever. I think some, you know, some of you might need to hear this. Uh, they always say, turn the other cheek. That's what God wants. Um, well, I'm going to read you. I'm going to read you the, and again, this is for interpretation. Of, obviously, I'm not telling you nothing. I'm not saying this is what you should do. I'm not saying this is what you shouldn't do. I'm just going to tell you what I've read. And sorry, but I need this light. And uh, yes, I wrote it out. So I'm going to kind of skip through because my writing is atrocious when I'm really tired. Um, so Isaiah 63. And what I hear quoted all the time is one through four. And uh, so I, I'm going to kind of, where do I want to start? I'm going to just say, who is this in the royal robes, marching in the greatness of his strength? It is I, the Lord, the one who is mighty to save. Why are your clothes so red as from treading out the grapes? I have trotted the wine press alone. No one was there to help me in my wrath. I have trotted my enemies like grapes. In the fury, I have trampled my foes. It's their blood you see upon my clothes. For the time has... Come for me to avenge my people, to redeem them from the hands of their oppressors. So that's what I, I've heard that, and I'm sure everybody else has heard that a few times along the ways, and interpreted basically saying, you know, well, you know, turn the other cheek and God will take care of it, right? Um, throughout the Bible, it does say that, you know, to have your sword, but have it sheathed, right? Anyways. The fifth verse that everybody seems to let, forget about or don't mention. I looked, but no one come to help them. I was amazed and appalled. So I executed vengeance alone. I meted out judgment. So, I mean, right there in the Bible, in Isaiah... It says that the God that God was appalled by no one helping them. So he doesn't just always want us to stand by. Sorry, this lighting is horrible. But anyways, he doesn't always just want us to stand by and take it. He wants us to help each other, defend each other, and do what's right for each other. I'm not saying do anything bad. I'm just saying maybe it's time not to just turn the other cheek when you think that's what you're supposed to do. Maybe it's not what you're supposed to do. Stand up for yourself. So, anyways, <clears throat> once again, it's 1 o'clock in the morning. That's my interpretation of it at 1 o'clock in the morning. So take it for what you will. <clears throat> um, hope everybody has a good weekend. God bless.